Okay, guys. So today with us we have a Sarthak Badkar, and he did his internship in State Street and also got converted to full time. So we would uh get to know some uh interview process. How was the interview process of State Street and some other things that you would like to know? So we'll uh start uh, Sarthak. So you can introduce yourself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Kanak. First of all, so uh hey guys uh my name is Sarda Bedkar uh I have been with State Street since uh January 9th uh I, I, I was the part of artificial intelligence team so I, I was an intern for six months from 9th of Jan to 3rd of July as you can see I have placed down all those things so I worked with the uh backend technologies uh and uh, like the machine learning models so that was for my uh internship time so, uh, Kanak already uh, told me about few of the things that you would wanna know uh, as a uh, as a fresher who is uh, gonna start making his uh, mark in the industry. So, first of all, I would like to talk about the company. Okay, so Blink like, State Street is a, a finance financial giant actually. So, it comes into top five companies which are present uh, uh, all over the world, which deals with the financial assets. So State Street has around 3.9 trillion uh, assets management under its belt and uh, you can like check uh, its official site for it. It has a uh, 250 years plus history. So it's one of the uh, great financial company that you can work with. Let us discuss mm -hmm. about how the rounds of interview look like. Like we had three rounds, right? So can you describe the uh, all yeah. three rounds, how, how, how they were? Okay. Uh, for State Street, uh, when I, I was like preparing for straight straight when I applied for it. So there were three rounds. First one was the assessment round where we had to uh, solve a few of the questions. Uh, like the first one assessment round, which we had like uh, three to four sections. Uh, first three were like dependent on uh, the topics that I have listed down here. Uh, operating system, database management system, competent network. So they were dependent on this. So, like, you have MCQs and you need to, uh, like, basically choose what is the right answer or, like, you need to solve that particular question. Then at the end of it, there were two, two problem statements which you have to solve. So, they were for uh, competitive programming. So, you need to solve that as well. After solving those, you will get selected for the uh, next round. So, next round was the interview round, which was with uh, a technical person who was gonna ask you uh, about your tech expertise or like what you are good for. So for us, uh, we were divided by um, the domain uh, according to the persons who was interviewing us. So he asked me about machine learning, uh, data structures, and uh, like a few, a few problems, uh, like how to solve the river, how to go about a reverse link, link list. Let's just say I'll give you a problem statement that might help you guys. So, uh, you know about uh, this a double link list, right? Or like circular link list. Let's just go with circular link list. So, how will you know what is the start and end of the circular link list? If it's in the it's in the circle, right? So, where to start and where to end? So, you should know that and how many uh, link uh, links are there inside the link list. So, these kind of questions are, are what like they asked usually in the in the interviews. Then after that, we have a um, HR round where HR basically asks for like, uh, what you, what are your expectations from the organization? What are the things that you want to achieve in uh, coming next years? Uh, and like, if you want to stay with our organization for a longer, longer time, of course, like they want to uh, see from their perspective as well. So that is a, uh, that is the thing. And like I have heard, uh, this time you have a hackathon coming for you guys, right? So, uh, for hackathon, like it's like uh, you should have a team. First thing that I would actually empathize on is like you should have a team uh, with variety of domains that you are specialized in. Like if you all are working on the single thing, then we can't build basically uh, anything out of it. Like if you're all building front end, then you won't be having a fully fledged uh, full stack application, right? Because you need back end for it, databases, all those things are needed. And if you have a variety of people which are which which who are uh, specialized in different domains, like let's say someone is working on front end, someone is working on back end, 
someone knows about databases and someone knows how to integrate all those things and like supervising kind of a thing so that way it is easier to integrate all the things into one and like make it a full stack application for uh, to present to someone because it will perform some kind of a task even if you are not sure like uh, how can we um, uh solve everything or like how can we build everything we just start with something simple and like build that first if it's working end to end then like go about the next time that's how the hackathon is like uh but like you need to have that uh proper idea what the problem statement is then what you need to do you need to have understanding of that first of all like what is your end goal uh during that hackathon and you need to move according to it so that is how it is for the hackathons actually also make sure you uh, make clear about what are the evaluation criteria so there is pre placement talk so just ask them what would be the evaluation criteria so based on that please move ahead and ask if there are any bonus points of if we implement something different uh, out of the box are there any extra bonus points for it so please uh, make such things clear in the pre placement talks yeah sarthak you can yeah, that uh, is actually a good thing yeah like if you have a clear, clear understanding what your criteria will be so you you will have that narrow kind of a thing where you need to focus on like those particular areas and you will have it in your hand basically so if you if you just like anak said so if you have that um uh, uh uh like proper clarified criteria uh, criteria to get selected then it will be easier for you guys to uh, get the package yes then um yeah uh i was talking about the resources actually <laughs> okay so like these are the resources that i have personally um uh, gone through or like i have uh, used during my four years of college so uh, uh, the first three are the lit code code chef and hacker so these are the pal- platforms where you can uh, practice competitive coding these are the great platforms actually you can choose any one of those it's not necessary that you have to go with all those three you can just choose uh, anything out of those three and like you can work on them i would prefer if you go with this two the first two uh, lit code and code chef because they have variety of uh, problem statement and you will uh, face difficulty while solving those i think at some point we will uh, have like a saturation point where you will feel like you are able to solve everything but like there's a, a world apart from it there's a world beyond that that's where like Code chef and lead code comes up. So, like, I would prefer if you go to this two instead of like hackerang. If you are a beginner and you want to start from hackerang, then it's fine. But like, at some point, you need to move to uh, upper platforms like code chef and uh, lead code. Then, like, for uh, interview theoretical preparation, uh, you need to have theoretical understanding of the things as well. You can't go into interview and like just. uh think that whatever i'm saying like some other uh, uh the the person who is uh, sitting uh, next to me should be able to understand that's not how it is you should have that clear understanding of things where you are able to give present or like explain the, those things to the person who is interviewing you so that's where the interview bits comes in actually So this is a a good platform where you can find out the mostly asked questions for the interviews. You can prepare those, and the theoretical knowledge about all the topics that I've told you. There's like a uh, Java at point you can uh, go through or like Gigs for Gigs platform. You might have already known about those, so you can uh, refer those actually. Then uh, this is something that I have added on my uh, behalf. So I'll just take you to the URL actually. It's So this is something like school basic and easy medium and hard kind of a thing. So you have a lot of things here actually. So even if you are starting from the basics, okay, you can just like solve school level problems and then like move ahead. So this is also a good platform where you will get to have uh all the things uh like theory, then the practice problems and um uh like a lot of things. so you will get to choose uh, a lot of things here actually if you just go to the uh, gigs for gigs site so there are a lot of uh, uh, good opportunities or you might say uh, a good bunch of resources are provided over there uh, 
like training now is data structures algorithms dsa to development how to go about it data science topic wise python machine learning javascript so there they have a lot of technologies that you can browse through uh then i have added a sample resume link which will be helpful to you guys uh like since you would wanna make your or like stand out your resume so here i would like wanna like a uh, point of few other things so the first thing like if you have done any internship please make sure to add those points into a like like a bullet points do not write paragraphs so it's not neat and like no one really goes into that paragraph actually what they want to know is like what you have done those bullet points that specific thing that you have worked on during your internship so make sure you write bullet points while uh 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 mentioning your internship experience other than that if you have like done any projects so uh add projects like on a different uh, domains so add projects on a variety of domains because like when you are going for an interview right and like sometimes what happens is uh, they just list it down as a software engineer job right they don't specify whether you are working on ml domain or like uh, web development or like app development right so that way you you will be able to um showcase your skills and the the area of your expertise in a more um a more clarified way so if you are working in a lot of domains so the person who is hiring you will look at you in a different way so he will think like you have a lot of experience in a lot of fields so you should like uh, have that kind of a, a thing in the projects actually so you can yeah. list down open projects from yeah then in the second Please. round of interview so uh, what was the distribution like uh, all the questions were on dsa type or were it on like 50% were on projects and 50% was on dsa so can you make that thing clear in the second round okay so uh, for me it was complete ml wala thing because my um uh, uh the interview who was assigned to me from he's a idn and uh, he 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 uh, move or uh, empathize on the like the things i added a project like the devi i i was uh, telling about you right so there was something like uh, eann emotional artificial neural network so i added that project in my resume and that piqued his interest so he asked me about questions like from artificial neural networks so how neural networks works what is eann that kind of a thing so generally it doesn't uh, go like that when you when you are uh, giving interviews so mostly like what is you uh, in your resume that's what interview empathize on so it is really important you uh, should like have the honesty of adding things do not add any um, anything that you do not have any knowledge of because interview will know about that so like we do think that uh, he or like she might not know while interviewing but like they do get the understanding because like if i'm adding web development and i don't know how to do javascript that's the uh, dumbest thing i can do right mm-hmm. so that's how it is for the yeah, for, interviews you need yeah. yeah for me it was like 50 50% uh, 50% was like i had two questions to solve from dsa he gave me two questions and less 50% okay. of the interview was on projects so yeah it might depend on the interviewer if he goes only with projects or dsa and projects both yeah like you you should have understanding of dsa actually so you can refer to this uh, this resume uh, i mean the template and you can prepare your resume according to it and uh, yeah if there's any question that you have can uh, i'm glad to answer it uh, yeah so uh... Uh, so please, can you describe how was your internship experience at state street and like also in the full time thing so just a just a bit about it okay so like uh, as i already told you guys i joined in 9th of january uh, after four days on 13th or like 14th i'm not sure but like i got assigned to a project okay so that's how it was for me i worked on hackathon uh, a real time project so it was really good for me uh, at first when i started like it was a uh, uh, really messy because i didn't know how the organization works like as i was a fresher as well just like you guys so 
uh, that time i didn't know how how the things are like the, how i should go about the things but like i got a lot of help in between so uh, where my uh, mentor told me like uh, how to even write a piece of code not just a uh, random code but the clean code that is uh, uh, development ready okay when we do projects in our colleges right so we don't actually look at uh, things that way i have developed applications websites uh, during my college as well and like when a couple of internships uh, internships as well but like that time i didn't even look at uh, the things that i got to know while uh, doing internship uh, instead said actually so like how to write a clean code which is easily understandable to anyone who is looking at it and which is production ready so that was the thing which was uh, really uh, important other than that you will get a lot of uh, exposures if you don't then like i would say you should uh, talk to your manager about it so it's easier because if you uh, raise voice like if you say i have these capabilities and i want to uh, like work in this room and well, then he will arrange uh, things for you even if you are working on something else and uh, you are not happy about it so you should basically just reach out to your manager who it is and like or uh, get him uh like get the things done for you okay and so uh, how would you rate your over, overall experience at state street like just final sentence on how was your experience at state street okay how was the experience sometimes you might feel like uh, this month was like really productive and the next month was not that productive as the previous month but those things actually comes and go so that is the part of life you you have to learn through it and like uh the like crazy your concerns whatever it is and like get those resolved so that's how you have to go about those things nothing else actually great and any final advice that you would like to give to your juniors uh, so that they can crack this company or any any final advice uh like not basically this company but like i would want to tell you like work guys because uh what you do you have to get those things sorted okay so it's not about like uh, getting placed at some company but like if you have the skills that then you will be able to place where you are uh, you want or like you will get a good opportunity if you just have that uh, patience like you you will uh, have that uh, opportunity near in the future or whenever it is even if you don't get selected for any company just don't stop just keep working and you will have that opportunity soon because i have seen people who have failed multiple times for the uh, same company but like they are at a beta place right now so that is a that is my advice for you great piece of advice thank you thank you sarthak for coming and uh, giving some guidance to the juniors uh, that was very great of you thank you kanak for providing me the opportunity <laughs> that does great of you as well yeah bye yeah yeah bye thank you